What's up, what's up, fam? So we uh, about to start this second read, and as soon as I was about to start it, this song called Energy Budget came on. It's not really a song. She's talking. She's like giving affirmations. I recall all my power and all my energy back to me with divine care. Call all my power back. Whatever is living off my light energy. Run that back. Run that back. Get your own. Get your own. Who are and who aren't skilled to receive to right to my energy? What they don't want to hear in the name of saying the boundaries. I also want to exhaust myself. I have the right to tell people what they don't want to hear in the name of setting boundaries. My boundaries. All people who ain't listening, I'm done with people pleasing and the attachment to make everyone happy with me. I won't share like how I used to share. I'm not sharing like I used to share. I'm people, people, I'm people, I'm peopling people wiser. Something like that. But she's being more wise about the people that she surrounds herself with, that she gives her energy to. I don't share like I used to share. Everybody ain't able. Everybody ain't supposed to go. Everybody ain't supposed to know. I know now people pleasing isn't love, but it is fear. People pleasing ain't love, it's fear. I am magnificent at releasing expired emotional ties to how I structure my life with people, knowledge, money, friends, nutrition, health of my body, love, and time. I'm free from over-explaining and justifying. I'm free from over-explaining and justifying. It's a word. I still, I'm still working on that. I still be over explaining and trying to justify. I, for what? No matter how much I talk, you're still not going to get it. Some people, I'm not going to say y'all or you, but you know what I mean. No matter how much I explain it, you're still not going to get it because some people are committed and dedicated to misunderstanding you. My cutoffs ain't personal. They're spiritual. Word. Message. Anyways, I call back on energy that belongs to me. I am not the caretaker of those who want to stay asleep. <laughs> I'm not the caretaker of those who want to stay asleep. So word. Release the programming of being overly responsible for the happiness of others. Release that, uh generational curse of being overly responsible for the happiness of others it's not our responsibility it's not our responsibility you know what's up. tell me who I should share my intimate energy with I focus my energy on who sees me and skillfully respects me not the who focus my energy on who receives me and who skillfully respects me she also said something I'm sharing with people who are skillfully capable of receiving. That ain't what she said. She said something like that, though. Who are skilled in choosing their false stories about me. I notice and accept when there is unequal energy exchange. I have more mental real estate when I release people I bonded with through my trauma self and not through my healing self. Yet I am deeply I cast away the curse of suppressing my emotions. Message! Internal violence towards my feelings. How I feel is a part of fulfilling my purpose. I explore a healthy relationship between my emotions and boundaries. If they feel like home and they feel safe to be around, I spend more time with that type. I'm learning how to interpret people's energy. Especially those I love. I emit my own frequency and monitor how much energy I absorb from events. 
period poop I was just laying out some cards while she was preaching I didn't want to interrupt no more I was kind of fucking shit up cause she was on she's on a roll okay on a roll so I'm gonna just finish laying out these cords Astro projecting through frequencies. Five it out. Keep it enchanted. I am all that I preach to be. I am all I preach to be. Take a leap with me. Astro projecting through frequencies. Keep it enchanted. Preach to be. I invite you all to take a leap with me. Astro projecting through frequencies. Let's vibe it out. Take this leap with me. Keep, me. Keep it enchanted. I am all that I preach to be. I invite you all to take a leap with me. Astro projecting through frequencies. Let's vibe it out, so let's just leave me. Keep it enchanted. Tap in, stay in tune with your cycle. Let it flow. Let it flow. Every move, welcome in, it's a rival. Let it glow. Free bleeding on the earth is tribal. Let it flow. If it isn't vital for your survival, let it go. Protect your energy, make time for yourself. You don't have to work for nobody else. Focus on your spiritual wealth. Watch it manifest in perfect health. Meditate, then your pain must escalate. escalate. Hope you're thriving and you're living your best today. What's great is you're better than yesterday. Practice self love daily, that's a power play. play. Compassion, forgiveness. Live with more intention. intention. Speak life, give thanks, stay dedicated to ascension. ascension. Give love, stay young, make the most out of your existence. Live healthy, self love. Be consistent. I am all that I preach to be. Alright, so I just I just have to let that rock. So if y'all still here, y'all still here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The cards. First card out is the tower. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? You're you're breaking through the feelings of abandonment. You've made peace with it. You're just, it's a new beginning. This is you on that new ascended level. Come on, those songs were ever it was speaking about that. High key. It was speaking about the ascension. You and your ascended self, your new ascended mentality. Guides on how to budget this new powerful energy that you have received you know that you've allowed yourself to receive 
by doing the work. But again, I mean, there's a breakthrough, I feel, with a negative feminine energy that may be wishing, you know, dark energy onto you. Because we have the Queen of Wands here with the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant can represent Virgo energy, which, you know, came up in the last read as well with the Queen of Swords in reverse. You know, so. But, like I said, for me, the Three of Cups card is the Ancestor card. So, just like the last reading says, too, you're protected. No weapon formed against you shall, shall prosper. And you're more than ready for battle bold and confident walk boldly and confident yea though we walk through the valley of the shadow you shall fear no evil for thou art with you your peoples is with you the angels are with you even we got fairies with you <laughs> you know what i'm saying but we have the uh chariot card in reverse like it's no it's no gold no more time out for the bullshit by this negative feminine energy you know you know this person maybe feel maybe feel some type of way because they were left out in the cold I don't know how to fight and tell me once and tell you twice Really, like deep in the night. Hey, 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 stay for the day. Stay for the night. And I'm a wife. She wanna kill her little fuck all night. Get ahead all night. What's the name of this song? Mm -mm. I know how to shoot, I know how to fight. You ready for war? <laughs> tell you once, I'm tell you, tell you twice. You like, you not, you in the energy where you're not playing no games. You're not trying to play no games no more. You know what I'm saying? We gonna go to the next song though. You are, you have no more patience. Not playing no more games. Because why? With this twisted song, you about to be an overnight celebrity, baby. About to be an overnight celebrity. You ain't gotta be. You ain't got time to be playing around in the ghetto. You know. You ain't gotta be. You ain't got time to be. You know, playing childish games. Just like the uh, girl said, you're not responsible for people who choose to remain sleep. You can't carry that burden. You can't put that burden on yourself. You can't put that person's karma on yourself. It's the thuggish, ruggish. I thought overnight celebrity was about to play. Oh, oh, oh. It's the thuggish, ruggish. Oh, oh. Ammunition. You, you ain't you ready for me. Why are you so lit? Why are you so lit? I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. You know, you were probably once in this Five of Pentacles so sad. Oh, they stole my dog. They stole my cat. Just, you know, in this victim energy. Sad. Afraid to take a leap of faith. Just confused. Lying to yourself that you ain't that chick, that dude, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but <laughs> can you see this next assortment of cards here? Okay. Oh, they stole my dog, my cat. But look at this. We got the Emperor. All these in the upright, mind you. Emperor, the Ace of Cups. Stop lying to yourself. Not only are you the leader, you are that. You are, like I said, you are that chick. You are that dude. You're taking control with authority, loving yourself, remembering that you got the connection to source. You know what I'm saying? The Ace of Cups is that, you know, the cup runneth over. You know what I'm saying? It can, you may tilt it over, 
the water may come back, but it's it's, it's self fulfilling. Okay, so it's just gonna matter of time. It's gonna be running over again. Okay, the three of pentacles building is coming. Everything is coming together. Judgment. You are as ascension. Okay, an awakening, ascending to the next level. Look at that in the Empress. It started with the Emperor, ended with the Empress. Come on, it doesn't doesn't get no better than that. It doesn't get no higher than that. Do you hear me? It doesn't get no higher than that. Stop playing. You about to stop playing with these folks. It's the thuggish ruggish ball. Oh, 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 oh. So with you awakening, with you awakening, you about to come out of this sad energy, this wolves me energy, not, you know, with the two of cups in reverse and then followed by the two of cups in the reverse followed by the page of cups, right? So it's about to, you about, it's about to be a new energy of love new love, the right love, the love that was destined to be in your life is coming. Okay? Not these past relationships that disguise themselves as what they should, you know, as disguise themselves as allies in your life when they were really sits in the house when they was really fighting against you the whole time. <laughs> they act like they were allies, but they weren't. They weren't. Okay, that's what the cards are saying. They weren't. Definitely in the house. But they weren't. But the love that was destined to be in your life is working to find its way to you. Okay, it's working to find its way to you. And then we have the temperance card here. Um, and we start out with the t six of cups in the reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. Ain't the six doesn't the six of cups represent reconciliation coming together with with childhood energy or whatever? But it's in reverse, and then we have the ten of swords. Again, that fake love. They're supposed to be allies, but they're really working against you the whole time. And then we got the two of swords. The two of swords and the ace of wands. Two of swords in the upright, mind you. So that's the energy of you moving forward. Not remaining stagnant. Not remaining stuck in, in that fake love. In that phony love. And then the ace of wands be gaining more power because of it. Gaining more power because of it. Pulling us under, making me wonder. I gotta stay with you, my baby. I feel you closely overreacting. I can't imagine. But this, now you gonna have these people coming at begging. This is kind of like a begging song to me. Can you hear me? You gotta believe. Don't you throw in the towel? See so you, I got your back now when the chips are down. So move ahead, know that I'll be by your side. I'm gonna stay down and ride for you, baby. I'm gonna stay down for you and ride for you, baby, because this group of cards is coming out underneath that Emperor Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Judgment, and Empress, you know, cards, uh, group of cards, okay? So, of course, they're going to be on this bullshit now. Begging. On that bullshit, anyway. Begging. Like, I got you. I got your back. No, mm -mm, I got your back. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Don't give it a chance. Just gonna give us a chance. Everything. Everything. Yeah, baby. Don't you throw in the towel. 
throw that motherfucker in. Because look, baby, we got the Ace of Wands here with the Nine of Swords. The Eight of Wands represent messages coming in. The next card was the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is the card of anxiety. Sleepless nights, restless nights. Followed by the Two of Swords in reverse. And for me, the Two of Swords represents that energy, the energy of not seeing what's right in front of you. Not refusing to see the bullshit in front of you. Wanting to look through things with, through rose-colored glasses or ignore it. You know what I'm saying? And then we got the, the Knight of Cups. Leave the love, baby, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. Repeat to my, don't give up on me. Um, the nice can Knight of Cups can represent apology. Right there. Oh. Oh. But baby. Under the Emperor, Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Judgment, and Empress card. What you look like walking around with a knight? What you look like walking around with a knight? They need to level up some more. It's going to be more baggage. More. It's going to be more things for you to have to fix. Or you to have to, you know, messes that you're going to have to clean up of theirs. Because they just hadn't grown and matured yet. So go back to those those songs that we were playing before budget your energy you gotta budget your energy all right so let's get my little handmade cards back thing you didn't want me now i'm hot y'all on me anybody got time for this And they laying it on thick too. Look at this song is playing. But it's their karma. Hurts me the most when I wake. I fumble and twist till the truth starts to click. In this bay, these sheets go for miles. Dream of a smile. I don't want to be. So you share so gall three three three. So this is the energy of expansion. I gotta write down. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna keep this one out because I don't remember everything about this energy, this deity. I think it's like a lion. I'll give you things you didn't even know you wanted. Don't tell me that it's not enough My time is up, get over us Cause I think I might do anything for you I'm Trying to see if I can find the book that has that um, in it Just let me Still fresh, and the smell of it sins. How could I forget your two shreds? I think I have it though. Pulled it down. I did. I think it's in this. Just a memory. No, oh, no, it's not in this one. It's in the wolf one. Free. It is in this one. I gotta show you how I love you like I've never ever loved somebody. Guess what number it is? Page 173. 11. Portal. Going through. Next level. So you gotta walk away. And if this person feel like they might do anything for you, but back then they didn't want you, now you're hot, they all know you. Is it is it real? And just like one of the that song say, you gotta let them go through life and allow life to teach them. You can't 
you can't carry that burden anymore. Bruh, we gonna pause this. Because this Yish Yeshe Sogal three 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 came out over the breakthrough, came out over the energy of the chariot in reverse, not moving forward, willpower and determination in a situation with this toxic feminine energy that could be you know of the Virgo energy with the uh, hermit card in reverse it says you shall overcome all obstacles success is imminent so stay connected to your path no matter what and continue to apply yourself allow your spiritual path to support you in all areas of your life allow your spiritual path to support you so again, just reinforcing those first two songs that were playing at the beginning of this video. Live by your spiritual beliefs, period. That's what the Tower card is about, that, those core beliefs. Stick to your core beliefs and your spiritual practices because it's going to see you through this trial, this tri tribulation, through, you know, through the breakdown to your breakthrough seek out the support of your spiritual brothers and sisters for help when needed your spiritual guides we have the three of cups here your spirit guides could be in the physical but it could also be your, your spirit guides as well because with the five of pentacles as the card next you may not have a lot of people around you you know what I'm saying but don't allow that to keep you from taking that leap of faith and knowing that you got this when needed but also trust that you are intimately and directly connected to the powerful divine light within you are intimately and directly connected that ace of cups that was with the emperor three of pentacles judgment and the empress all in the upright you are divinely and directly and intimately connected okay to the divine light within there can be a dramatic healing breakthrough when you rely upon your spiritual connection and we were just talking about that breakthrough a dramatic healing breakthrough bake breakthrough when you rely upon your spiritual connection so be sure to rely on your spiritual connection so remember i was saying that yeshe sogal is a it's a tigress i said a lion but it's actually a tigress a yogini guardian for humanity and an emanation of the compassionate goddess of peace, prosperity, and long life. Yeshi Sogal, power is that of the tiger, or medicine of the spirit tiger. Her presence in, in a reading indicates that a boldness of spirit and willingness to engage your challenges, engage the challenges, will create the path of inevitable success. Don't cower. Don't cower. Don't cower. You got this. You are so covered. Rely on your spiritual, what it says here, your spiritual teachings. It's going to see you through. I think it said it on this one. Live by your spiritual beliefs. There can be a dramatic healing breakthrough when you rely upon your spiritual connection. Rely upon your spiritual connection. Rely upon your spiritual connection. There's a dramatic breakthrough, healing breakthrough coming for you or on the way. 
when you rely upon your spiritual connection a dramatic healing breakthrough you will receive a dramatic healing breakthrough when you rely upon your spiritual connection inevitable success prosperity when you engage your challenges don't run from them she represents our ability to generate the spiritual power necessary to accomplish what needs to manifest for the greatest good the, the reading prior to this spoke on this she represents our ability to generate the spiritual power necessary she represents our ability to generate the spiritual power necessary to accomplish what needs to manifest for the greatest good she represents our ability to generate the spiritual power necessary the gen the spiritual power necessary she represents our ability to generate the spiritual power necessary to manifest for the greatest good this oracle encourages you to call upon your higher spiritual guides for assistance that's that that's that three of cups that was here this empowers them to bring their light to the world through you and for you to grow in your own spiritual advancement too the last reading spoke about anubis that's some real power right there okay so call upon your spiritual guides your higher spiritual guides and anubis is that trusted friend that loyal friend with the head of the jackal kind of like a dog you know man best friend type shit So call upon your higher spiritual guides for assistance so that they can bring their light to the world through you for you to grow in your own spiritual advancement too. Remember, enlightenment is a team effort with extraordinary individual players working together as one. You belong on such a team. So let's, let's read the healing process here. It says, be seated somewhere comfortable. If you are a visual person, allow the visual visualization below. Follow the, the visualization below, allowing the symbols to enter your soul without having to analyze or interpret them. If you are more of a feeling person, read the description below aloud, noticing any, noticing any emotions or sensations that arise as you do so and allowing them to soak into your soul without needing to analyze or interpret them so don't try to analyze or interpret anything even when if you're a visual person or you're a feeling person it says to prepare yourself connect consciously with your breath as it flows in and out allow the breath to become deeper and more complete calming and centering you in the present moment you may like to place a hand over your heart to connect with your soul essence relax become receptive at your soul level open and willing to take in symbolic nourishment to empower protect and heal you when you're ready read and visualize or feel the following description i'm about to read it you see a brilliant white sun it shines radiant white light through continually shifting mandalas, mandalas of sacred ge geometric patterns. I'm going to read that again. <laughs> you see a brilliant white sun. It shines radiant white light through continually shifting mandalas of ge sacred geometric patterns. Waves of light move through you, slow, deep, and hilly. Out of the most luminous center of this sun, a solar tiger of white light stalks forth. You see the numbers 333 three, three, emblazoned above her. Light continues to amplify itself, reaching far and wide into every dimension. 
There is no barrier that can withstand it. The waves of light continue to move through you. Slow, powerful, and deep. Rest for as long as you feel is best. Allowing the process to soak into the depths of your soul. Ground and hydrate yourself. You have completed your healing process. I might just do a video where I just read that entire message for Yeshe Sogal. It won't hurt to have that just in the archives, like you know. Let's get some more of my little handmade cards here. My awesome handmade cards. Look, Anubis come back out. I'm telling you, Yoshi, Yoshi, Yeshi Sogal says. Hey, Anubis is my partner too. Go ahead and call him in, okay? This is coming out with that Five of Pentacles. And didn't I say uh, Anubis is that trusted fr friend? The Five of Pentacles kind of represent that feeling abandoned energy. It says call on your spirit team to help you to generate the spiritual power you need to manifest what's needed for the highest good. I feel like Anubis is making himself known that I got you. Call on me. But you got you to gotta call on me. Call on me say my name if you feel comfortable if you don't feel comfortable call on who you know who you're comfortable calling whether it's Jesus Buddha uh, uh, what is it Shakti whichever whichever all right, so we have G, Q, and W. Those initials may mean something for you. But then we have purification, and that's coming out over the Emperor. Uh, Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and Judgment cards. Okay. But Anubis is going to help you to take that leap of faith. Anubis is going to help you to fight through the confusion. Help you to solidify your dreams and your goals and not just be all over the place you know it's Anubis is going to help you to fight the deception or whomever you want to call okay it doesn't have to be Anubis help you fight through the dis through the deception you know and through the manipulation of the masses perhaps the through the manipulation of society the powers that were you know could be you know people of your past you know maybe this Virgo uh, feminine energy that's out of alignment that's in a really negative black magic dark magic I don't want to say because I but anyway we're not going to go into that right now but helping you to fight that darkness. You know. Look at you, says not a sincere effort, scheme and plotting and planning. You know, this part, like I said, this person may be trying to this is coming back out underneath that Virgo energy and that Queen of Wands in reverse. Like I said, this person, they may be trying to act like they and it's coming out with the cards. In which where I was talking about that fake love, they acting like they supposed to be your friends and that they cool with you, but they all of, uh, at the you know all the time, all the while, they're working against you. You know, smiling in your face. I mean, like they have this sun card energy, even though it's in reverse, it's still the sun card energy. Oh, they laying it on thick. Okay. Laying it on thick. I don't know if it came. Those songs came on in this reading or not. I think they did. Laying it on thick, but it's not. It's not sincere. They still scheming, plotting, and planning against you. Okay, but you know, again, your ancestors are surrounding you. 
<laughs> and it's so crazy. The Temperance card is out underneath the Anubis card. And to forget, again, for me, the Temperance card represents the ancestors, your spirit guides in the background, cooking up the perfect potion for you to be victorious, to reach your desired result for the highest good. Okay? Again, this is with that it with these cards, the six of cups in reverse, ten of swords in reverse. This reconciliation ain't it. It ain't it. Still gonna be stabbing you in your back. Two of wands, move forward. And look how much power is bestowed upon you once you do. Because we have the ace of wands. Intense. Things are getting intense. You know? Move forward. Release it. But forgive this divine forgiveness and healing. Forgive, but move forward. Don't keep, don't carry that bitterness in your heart. You don't have to carry the bitterness with you. And like I said, they're going to be coming back. With all kind of messages trying to apologize with the eight of wands but nine of swords sleepless nights anxiety that negative energy don't be blind to it again you are emperor you walk in an emperor in empress energy you literally had both of them come out in one pile you're being purified don't go back into the the swamp okay look at this it says pull you out of character they want they're going to try to pull you out of character they're going to try to pull you out of that empress emperor energy it says battles won in the ethers baby spirit fights your battles they're going to try to start a fight don't entertain it going to try to start a fight don't entertain it don't entertain it too much negative thinking look at that and that came out with the card over that virgo negative feminine 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 this is what i said but feminine energy that's not in alignment that queen of wands in reverse bitter bitter bitch too much negative thinking and then we have the leo card here with the uh anubis card which is the sun so it's some something is being revealed you're being enlightened okay so and then it says the motto for leo is i will i will so you need to tap into your willpower okay to not succumb when you start feeling lonely when you start feeling like you're alone and you're out you know out here on your own anubis got you Ye shed so go. Ye she so go. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But your ancestors got you. Okay. Might be a Leo energy that comes to to help you. Could be a negative Leo energy. You know, that further makes you feel alone. But know that you're not. When in your authenticity, much power and grace shall rally to support you. Just stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. Just like that card, like that the thing said, since your your spirit team, your guides are gonna come and support you. I remember the the page one seventy three. <laughs> know that you're connected intimately and directly to the powerful light within. You are connected to that powerful light within. 
Allow your spiritual path to support you in all areas. Success is imminent, so stay connected to your path no matter what and continue to apply yourself. Continue to apply pressure for you. Know that you shall overcome all obstacles. You shall overcome all obstacles. There can be a dramatic healing breakthrough when you rely upon your spiritual connection. Okay? This oracle encourages you to call upon your higher spiritual guides for assistance. This empowers them to bring their light to the world through you, for you to grow in your own spiritual advancement and for your own spir spiritual advancement. Bring the power through you and for you to grow in your own spiritual advancement. The tiger skin is depicted in sacred iconography to represent fearless enlightenment that cuts through all obstacles. Deities such as Tara and her fierce emanation of Ikajati and her ferocious expression as the wrathful, protective feminine deity Paldin, Lahamu, Lahamu and wild Lord, Lord Shiva, Shiva are often pictured wearing or seated upon tiger skins. This represents the indomitable will that conquers negativity, negativities because it refuses to be overcome. The tiger is a symbol for navigating treacherous territory and the triumph of light over darkness. Tiger's spirit medicine can control the poisons of anger and hatred, transforming them into passion, clarity, and unwavering commitment to one's higher purpose. Okay. Yeshe, Yishi, Sogal, 333, Agurs, A U G U R S empowerment and healing by assuming a confident attitude and taking steps forward so remain confident keep taking steps forward it indicates that a negative time is drawing to a close come on it indicates that a negative time is drawing to a close and encourages commitment to the task of overcoming negativities through spiritual practices suited to you Take that spiritual bath that was that I had suggested in the last read. It doesn't matter if you feel like a beginner or are uncertain of how to meditate, for example. Yishi Sogal became enlightened because she made progress one step at a time, attracting the right teachers and guides to assist her. Ashe. You have the precious gift of such a path. It is good karma to have such a path. And it creates further good karma when you pursue it. The repeated three symbolizes that all manner of assistance and support will be granted to ensure your attainment. This will include the gifts of appropriate teachings and teachers, friends, healers, synchronicity, circumstance, and opportunity. Trust the universe and go for what you want with boldness and courage. Finally, this oracle indicates triumph over, the, over even the most severely negative energies. Come on. You remember the card that came out with Yishi Soga? Too much negative thinking. From this Queen of Wands in reverse Virgo energy. Let 
let me read that again finally this oracle indicates triumph over even the most severely negative energies with the help of supernatural intervention if needs be and remember I'm just going to remind you Anubis here you don't make me read about him and am I'm going to keep his card out so I can write more on his to activate that blessing be determined to prevail be determined to prevail be determined to prevail period be determined to motherfucking prevail fully empower the beneficial workings of the light in your life and end our world truly you are a light worker embrace it live it be determined to prevail that's all you gotta do even if you don't feel like you don't know how to even when you if you feel like you don't know how to meditate be determined be determined to prevail take one step at a time that was the path of Yishi Sago she reached enlightenment because she just took one step at a time didn't give up didn't give in so we have this commensalism card coming out over not sincere effort they still plotting planning and scheming even though it may seem like they didn't chilled out or maybe you know not working against you or they may be trying to act like they on your team it says the medicine of connection protection and stabilization it says re receive what we need without being a parasite this person is trying to be a parasite you know seek sources that naturally supports us rather than manipulating someone or something to be other than what it is they're trying to manipulate you to be their footstool when you are not you when you are emperor empress energy okay this person is not practicing commensalism but you are they want to get they want to leech off of other people's energy when you're trying to be that trying to lead by example and show them that they can they have that power within them they need to go and tap into the light within what did you she say excuse me trust that you are intimately and directly connected to the powerful divine light within period and we have divine forgiveness and healing forgive them you don't, have, don't hold that bitterness when you can divinely forgive them and truly let go you can have a divine healing but I feel like divine healing is here for you we have my way or the highway And I feel like that's how you are, you, you know, you are feeling. And also how this person is probably feeling. That's why we have the Six of Cups in reverse. No need to reconcile. Okay. It's still going to be more, more backstabbing. Because you are your own person. You already know that. So. And you are, I, I, I feel like you're operating in that energy but on the different end of the spectrum not in a negative way you're not asking of not asking that person to be less than you're actually asking that person to come up to their potential to what they're capable of you know so it's different They're going to try to pull you out of character. Give you, probably give you an ultimatum or some shit. But for show and for clout. They just want to be around you for show and for clout. They just, and look, you guys here want your attention. But know that your battles are won and it, 
ethers. Spirit fights your battles. They're going to try to start a fight. Don't entertain it. They want your attention, even if it's in a negative way. They're phony. You know? And it's going to be revealed. It's going to be revealed. Bottom of the deck says, forego pleasure for larger purpose. Okay, so you may have to make a few sacrifices at this time. Keep to yourself. You may have to be, you know, a hermit. <laughs> not a Vir not not like this Virgo, not like the Virgo person, but literally a hermit. Like staying within, staying in just to kind of because the energy is crazy out there. Your light is bright. You're in this sensitive uh, place of elevation and growth. So you're kind of like Bambi. Just born. Learning to walk in this new energy. So it may be best for you to stay to yourself. But at the same time, whatever comes to your door, don't back down. You got this. Trust in your spiritual connection. Call on Anubis. Call on Yish Yishi Sogal. Or whoever. You know. Stay in your authenticity. Because when, your, when you're in your authenticity. Much power and grace will rally to support you. Be determined to prevail. Period. Alright family. That's what I got. I'm going to end it right there. Whew. Go check out the last reading if you, you know, got to the message part of this one. Listen to them songs in the beginning. Because like I said, this is a new energy that you're in. And those two songs that were played in the beginning is going to teach you how to budget your energy. What to watch out for. It, and it's just really reminders because I feel like you already know these things but you know just confirmation on what you feel have felt and maybe didn't have words didn't have the words to express but that's going to help you when you take your spiritual bath allow those songs to play allow this reading to play and so, those, so that those songs you can listen to those songs while you're in your spiritual bath yeah, make sure you do that today. For real. All right, family. I love you all. And until next time. Peace.